Boom! What up, Solar Vernacular? Only here back doing some more League of Legends action. We're playing some Volley Bizzle up in the top lane. Uh, there's actually a really good AP build right now for the preseason. Or, yeah, preseason. I keep thinking I'm saying PBE sometimes. But yeah, anyways, this build is quite good. I'm just gonna try and get this wave shoved in. Man, come on, dog. So annoying. <sighs> okay. Boom, what up? Today's video is sponsored by whoops, the Ridge Wallet. Now this wallet is light, sleek, industrial, and guess what? It changed up my entire pocket game. No more giant bulky pocket or uh, bulky wallet that's in my back pocket, leaving me feeling like I'm sitting on a cushion or something. We don't need that. We need something light. We need something sleek. It's 2020, okay? We're not in the 90s anymore. Flip phones are gone. We're onto the smartphone. We don't need those giant wallets designed in the 90s. We need something sleek and lightweight like the Ridge Wallet. Now this wallet holds up to 12 cards. Also, there's a clip on the back for cash. Perfect. There's also 30 different colors to choose from. I personally have the carbon fiber one, but I did get the burnt titanium one. It's for my brother's Christmas gift. Don't tell him, okay? Now there's over 30,000 five-star reviews for the Ridge Wallet, so these people can't all be wrong. And I'll tell you firsthand, as someone who's been using the Ridge Wallet, daily for the last four months i got rid of my own chunky bulky wallet and now i just use the ridge exclusively and i love it now the ridge also comes with a lifetime warranty and let's be real this thing is indestructible okay so what are you waiting for scroll down click the link in the video description below and use code sro to get 10 percent off plus worldwide shipping again go to ridge.com sro and use code sro for 10 percent off and free shipping worldwide on your very own bridge wallet thanks for watching let's get back into today's video it's gone brother it's gone he just doesn't pay attention all right <laughs> what are you gonna do you try and help them but they just don't want to pay attention they don't want to pay attention say like, what it's not up what the heck huh <laughs> it's like yeah dog that's kind of what i was trying to tell you All right, sweet. Should be all right here. A little bit of a cheese play. Oh my God, bro, they love me. Got a team. Get it, Nunu. Get it, Nunu. Popping off. Nunu in the building. Nunu in the house. <laughs> oh, God. This 1v2 lane is fun. <laughs> oh, got him. Look at this guy again, bro. He's not done yet. Okay, I'm gonna leave here now. <laughs> At least since like up here doing this camp, so I'm just gonna run all the way back. Not all the way back to base, but all the way over here. Oh man. Let's grab this, a potion. Get back to lane. Whew. Okay, anyways, the plan here is to go for an Emax build. I'll show you the build itself. Uh, it's gonna be, where's Volley Bear? Right here, Riftmaker, Nasher's Tooth, and Demonic Embrace. So it's gonna be pretty AP heavy. Well, not pretty AP. It's gonna be definitely AP heavy and a little squishy, but Riftmaker is gonna give us a little bit of HP. Demonic Embrace is gonna give us a little bit of HP and a little bit of armor magic resist. Riftmaker also is giving us 15% Omni Vamp, so life steal based on abilities. Take it. Try and get that W on him. Mm, I'm gonna wait and W this. Get a little bit of a heal. <laughs> 27. Okay. Let me get a ward down. Cause you know his jungle's coming back. Let's be real. 
Try and get this bush. I'm gonna eat here. Walk away. You don't want to eat poke when we don't have shields up. I'm gonna give that minion up for the same reason. Don't want to eat poke. Want to get in this bush before I do it. I don't think it's going to let us get the hit. It's alright. Shove this in. Damn! Okay. That does some damage, bro. What's the chance his teammates here? Oh, I don't like this play. No, oh, I was too late on that. Feel more comfortable now. All right, sweet. All right, let's back away. A little bit overextended here. I can just sit in this bush and wait for a play potentially. I think he's. Oh, he hit. No, he hit it. Never mind. I was gonna say he might still be level five. Do something quickly. Other than that, I'm just gonna shove wave. Sweet. Reset. Looking good. Alright. Going for the Rift Maker. There it is. Um, I'm gonna get this component. One of these. I'm playing it mostly to use E anyways. And we'll sit back. Keep pressing our E key. But yeah, 80 ability power, 150 health, 15 ability haste, 15 excuse me, percent omni vamp, and then void corruption for each second in combat with a champion. You deal 3% you deal 3% uh, bonus damage, and then it gets scaled up to 15%, and then once it's at 15%, it does true damage instead of just bonus magic damage. Your blue buff is up. This guy has 18 CS. He's just permaganking. I mean, I can't stand that for an hour, brother. You gotta... Oh, wow, he's actually coming. <laughs> this Lee Sin, though. It really sucks because the wave's in such a bad spot, but... Oh, my goodness. Should have this. Beautiful. Woo! Let's go, baby. Good shit, Nunu. Good shit, man. We did it. The Bash Brothers. Uh, I gotta shove the next wave, my man. Give me a second. I mean, you're, you're Nunu. You're fine. You don't really need help. so well then you just had to stick the stick out there and trip me I can't believe you do this unbelievable this is what happens when you don't like my videos for the YouTube algorithm oh that heal was late bro you could have saved him that heal was late <laughs> sorry Mike you better be <laughs> all right We'll take it, we'll take it. We're popping off here. This item is so powerful, I kind of wish I got it. Enough gold for it, but whatever. That would be a reason to go for these components over this, though. It's because you can get this faster. And that 10% Omnivamp is actually really nice. Oh yeah, let me fix this. Before I do that again. <laughs> Alright. Oh! I just beat him up. Oh shit. Maybe not. Huh? Maybe not. Maybe not. Run for my life. <laughs> do I just beat him up? No, I don't. I do not. Uh, it's kind of greedy, but I'm gonna run all the way down here and try and grab this. I see Lee Sin, so I should be able to. 
I also have this kicking in. Getting a little bit of extra healing going on. Alright, sweet. <laughs> I mean, he's half HP too, and I still have my ultimate, obviously, but... Oh, face check me? He knows I'm here, right? <gasps> oh! Let's go! He didn't know I was there. Got him. Beautiful. We're gonna hit like a truck, man. It's so good. Dude, this is why I buy it every time. 30 ability power for free. That's so stupid. A 350 gold item is giving us 45 ability power right now. That's so crazy. I'm just gonna run under and grab these. Alright. Should be good. Not bad. I have teleport. All me, baby. All me. Oh? Oh? Payback's a bitch! Tower, no! All right, that was, I had to do it to him, man. All those ganks, I had to do it to him. I was hoping I was fast enough that I could get my E off in time. Get the shield before the tower hit. It's pretty close. Uh, we're just gonna end up selling this right here and grabbing this. We lost four stacks. We had nine right there, bro. Crazy. This is why this item is insane. You can get, if, if you get the 10 stacks, right? It's 65 ability power. It's 50 plus 15. And then it's 40 health. That's insane for 350 gold. Like one amp tome gives you 20 ability power and that's 435 gold. This is giving you 65 and 40 health. And then you can upgrade it into your first, uh, into the fastest legendary in the game. 1250 gold to upgrade. So the cheapest legendary, aka you get your fastest passive, first passive. Because read this one, grants all other legendary items 5% magic penetration. So just by upgrading this, instead of just getting those stats that we get, we get another 5% uh, penetration. OP OP. What the hell, man? I'm coming. Dude, this Lee Sin loves to invade. Yeah, right, you think I'm afraid of these people? You're out of your goddamn mind. Listen. Okay, dude. Do it. You won't. What I thought. Oh! Hit both of them with it. <laughs> yeah, shit's so fun. Yoink. Alright, uh, let's move over here, make sure we get this. Oh, Balin, 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 what the fuck? Look where this guy is standing. That'll be a freebie. Uh could have landed that. It sucks. I'm tanking, so I gotta walk away. Man, if I landed that. Alright, let's reset. So next item is Nash's Tooth. 100 ability power. 50% attack speed. And then applies on hit effects. And that's important because our Q and our W both apply on hit effects as well. And then we have our passive, right? So... Once we get this Nash's Tooth, essentially what's going to happen is our passive is going to be doing like 150 damage every single auto attack in a chain lightning effect, right? And then Nash's Tooth will do about like 78, 79, I think. I did this build earlier. Uh, so yeah, 150, like 70 or 80. That's per auto attack. And then you're adding in your regular auto attack damage as well. So each auto is hitting for like, I don't know, almost 400. 
and you get a ton of attack speed once your passive is stacked up as well. Pretty OP. Ooh, I got killed in mid lane. All right, Lucian popping off. That's what I like to see. Damn it, Lucian. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep pushing for tower. They're gonna get mid tower here. Oh, wow, I missed both of those, that sucks. Sweet. I might try and steal this away too. Just cause I have five stacks up. Five stacks up of your passive is the, what, 11% increase attack speed per stack. And then you're also getting the uh, bonus AOE damage. But it still affects single targets as well. Ooh. Oh yeah, I don't think I've explained the champ kit. It's so hard, it's so hard, because normally everybody knows all the items because they've been the same for like forever. So when I do builds, it takes like two seconds to explain the build and I'm explaining champions most of the time. But now it's like the opposite. Like the builds are the new thing that most people don't know. More people know about the champions. So I feel like I'm going the opposite way. Oh, this could be a good play. I'm trying to catch, I don't know if I can though. I think we're okay. Nah, I won't get a second rotation off. It's alright. Um, get this and then boot upgrade. I think. Don't want. Sp I think I just want tankiness. Probably tabby this game, huh? Cool with that. <laughs> My items look so awkward. We're getting a bunch in the other lanes though, because they sent what three, four people top. This has been a bloody game for sure. A lot of ganks going on. I have a teleport here. Might be able to get him. Aw, oh, bro, you suck. But it made me suck more. <laughs> And look at our healing afterwards. Whew. Let's go. That Omni vamp. Yeah, Olaf is pretty strong. Ooh. Triple, but then he died. I can pop Rift and take this. They're gonna push mid, I like it. Ooh, big play boys. Yeah, we'll get this for free. Noise. Maybe even... Eh, maybe. Oh my god, never mind. Shelly did so much damage. For some reason, I didn't think she was going to do that much. I'd be careful, bro. We don't want this. No way. Bruh. What the fuck, dude? They immediately surrendered. Volley Fizzle. Let's go, dude. Huh. Dude, the, the shield is massive. Does a shitload of damage. And then your W, uh, every second W is uh, giving you a bunch of healing. It's based off your missing HP. So I get a massive shield that lets me stay at lower HP for longer. And then it lets me get multiple Ws off. <sighs> Bro. 
Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta give it to Nunu, man. Me and him destroying right there. I like it. <laughs> Dude, this champion does so much damage. This happened in the other game that we played. I just inted like the first, like, I don't know, 15 minutes of the game. I did nothing but feed. So I was like 0-3 to start. And I was like, this is not a good video. But afterwards, I did insanely well. And the same thing this game. I just started off and, and did really well. God damn. Whew. Not bad at all, boys. Not bad at all. Okay. Molly Bear seems like a lot of fun. I will try him. Yeah, this build's really good on him. Uh, once you get to the Demonic Embrace, though, it becomes even uh, even better. Because obviously, Nash Tooth is going to give us the increased damage. But Demonic Embrace is giving us more ability power, which funnels into our E, funnels into our abilities and all that. But uh, also gives 350 HP. And then the passive is really good. Extra burn damage. Plus the armor and magic resist per target hit. And our, all of our abilities are hitting AoE, so it's pretty easy. Uh, runes? Yeah, I got you. I just ran a conch page. You can run PTA with this as well. You can go PTA and Ignite if you want with this type of a build. It's fine as well. And just play like really aggressive uh, pre-6. That works. Uh, this is more of like, yeah. I'm going to get in a long, prolonged fight. And I'm going to heal a lot. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. And again, your Q and your W apply on hit effects. So when we get the Nasher's Tooth, we'd be applying those Nasher's Tooth procs. So auto QW, which is like an instant combo, would apply three Nasher's Tooth procs. Would apply three procs if you're passive. So those two alone, that's like 750 damage. And then plus the three hits and the Q and the W damage. That's like one-shotting somebody. But yeah. Anyways, GG Wellblade. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to tune in next time. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Follow up, be alerted when I go live. GG Wellblade. Thanks for watching. Peace.